and it's made me struggle a little bit because after writing it, I shared it with the people who originated the work, and they um, claim that the staging is intentional. And the film in question is Mukti Gaur, which came out in 1995, which used the footage that Lear Levin had actually shot. Uh, he was there in November, uh, and he was he was in mainly inside India actually along the border, uh, and he was there for three weeks, and he followed this group of traveling musicians along. But along with his footage are war footage from the archives at the beginning and at the end. And for all, everyone in Bangladesh, that's actually the first time in 1995 that they saw images of the war in color. And as Catherine Masood points out, with synchronized sound, so prior to that it was all this black and white footage with this murky gray layer on top of no sound. Um, and so there's archival footage at the beginning, and then there start to be recreated scenes towards the end, but they're not marked as recreation. Um, and there's a sharp, super important scene in terms of recreation, which takes the scene of, okay, so it's a group of traveling musicians. They don't enter Bangladesh on 16th December. They don't enter until well after. Um, it's also a highly upper middle class family, a uh, group of people who were part of that group. So there are other questions of comfort, etc. But for various reasons, they don't enter at that time. It's also November. Right? But the scene, uh, uh, there's a scene of the people in a truck, and then that's intercut with the scenes of the Indian Jawans entering Dhaka, and all these people coming and cheering and embracing them. And so they're <coughs> intercut. And it's done in a way that it looks like they're looking at the Jawans from the truck. And, you know, the film was initially extremely well liked by those who would like it. Right? Uh, it was embraced. It, it started the whole industry of 1971 related films in 1995 after a long gap when no films were being made. The criticism was precisely about the mixing of the Indian Jawans entering Dhaka with that. Um, and as a sort of very famous, very sort of, you know, irritated uh, critic said that the Masuds are privileging and putting on top again the Indian army's role by intercutting it. And this person pointed out that they were intercut. And since then, the Masuds have taken to now saying that there are restages. But I remember seeing the film in the early 90s, and I remember not hearing about the staging. So there was maybe a way that the film was being presented as all fact. You weren't supposed to see the scenes. And then people started seeing the scenes. And so then the filmmaker's story becomes, and it's not clear if it's conscious or subconscious, oh no, we intended to. Everyone should see the staging. Um, and you know, I've been having this discussion with uh, Lotte Hook, who's done a lot of writing about Bangladeshi cinema, and she you know, argues the, the theory of cinema of astonishment, that the audience is willingly believing that which they know to be a simulation. But I'm not convinced that that's actually what's happening. I think in 71 immediately after.